What's happening, Nautical Pandas? Peter Von Panda here. Hey, I want to show you this little boat model that I have. I've had it for a long time, and I really like it. And I guess I've never shown it to you. But it's an ABN AMRO uh, yacht, and I actually don't even know if ABN AMRO is still around. But uh, back in 2006, this actual boat had a couple of really interesting things happen. And uh, ABN AMRO actually sponsored two of these, two of these yachts. And I'm not a sailing guy so i may not have this correct if you have more details on it please let me know but um it was pretty cool and i actually had a buddy that uh, worked at ab and amro for a little while and i just really liked their color scheme it was really colorful uh, it was really modern i think it was a little ahead of its time as you can see there the shield and uh, it was a prestigious company and it's always no surprise that they were maybe sponsoring um ocean races etc cetera, etc cetera. so and i think it was called the volvo ocean race which is really literally you know racing all the way across the ocean so it was kind of cool but abn amro and it might be you might be able to see here that it says two on the front and that's because they actually sponsored two boats a white one like this and the number one boat which was black now actually when i ordered this uh from the gentleman that had them i actually ordered the black because i thought it looked cooler it was a black hull and um, kind of black trim and everything and I thought that looked great and he actually sent me the wrong one and instead of sending it back I uh, just kept this which is fine uh, but I thought the black one looked a little sleeker now they were both the same in, in every other way uh, the ocean races are really awesome grueling uh, and very dangerous and so the thing about this little bad boy even though it's a little model it's probably oh I don't know um, 15 or 16 inches tall total it comes attached to this little plastic base and you can see uh, the keel there on the bottom holding it up everything's plastic or resin and even the sails here are like that um, cover on like presentation binders uh, so they <laughs> still look good after all these years and, and kind of plastic you can see a little bit of the glue and things like that but it's all like molded none of these pieces move um, especially these uh, blades here that uh, kind of get cranked down and give you some um, control when you're on a high angle, high tilt here. But I'm really impressed with the detail. Now, I, as I kind of go in on it and show you some of the really close detail, I'll tell you why this this particular, the number two boat here, was kind of interesting. One, it set like some speed records for uh, the yacht races. And in fact, it was a little faster than number one, I believe. And so that was pretty cool. Uh, the problem was it also had a fairly notorious uh, history in that I don't know how many people were lost, but in one of the races, a man went overboard and uh, they, they they went back and rescued him. And I guess what ended up happening is uh, when they got hit with a wave, it, it dragged someone over. And you know my guess is that he went underwater for longer than a human can manage. And the problem there was uh, they went ahead and dropped the spinnaker, which I believe is this front one, and turned around after dropping the man overboard uh, locator etc etc and calling man overboard and then the winds were so strong they actually had to drop the mainsail and go full motor uh, to the place where they lost him and by the time they got him he was already in cardiac arrest and they performed CPR I believe after they got him on board but he uh, unfortunately perished in that accident and so you know it's one of the things it's one of the nature uh, one of the things that happens, I guess it's the nature of racing and uh, extreme racing and in dangerous conditions and obviously in water you have um, all sorts of things that can happen but uh, that was that was that's pretty tough especially for you know a sport like this and a lot of professional sports where the athletes tend to be very young and so that can be kind of a, a really traumatizing thing to lose someone but nonetheless you know obviously consummate professionals uh, the avian amro boats, were just incredibly successful and i thought some of the best looking ones now there were some other ocean race uh yachts that i thought looked great too and uh, i assume this continues to go on but this one is you know from a design that was about 12 years old now so just really cool i've had it in my office for a really long time just wanted to share it with you uh you can pick up ocean race and uh yacht uh, gear in the description below via the link and we'll show some more of my little novelties with you peter von Pan out